The plan for today was to sail from in Plymouth on this chart somewhere up here, come round into Bigbury Bay and sail to Burr Island. However, as we can see at the moment, there is not a breath of wind. So the plan has changed a little bit. What we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, test my engine because it hasn't been run for quite a while. Um, so we're gonna have it go, take us out of the eastern entrance, uh, but only after I've scrubbed off all the bird doings off my boat. Now these could have been a lot worse if I hadn't had my Z cover on, but it's still a pain. Currently under engine, just leaving my mooring. The engine started okay, and it hasn't been used in, what, nearly four weeks? So I'm quite happy with that. As per the tidal plan, I'm heading into Jennycliffe Bay uh, before swinging round to the eastern entrance. Hopefully the tide will uh, help me, uh, well at least not restrict me anyway. Weather report for the breakwater was eight knots from the west, but there's absolutely nothing inside uh, the break, uh, inside Plymouth Sound at the moment. Looking at the water, there appears to be some something causing the water to ripple, but I can't feel any wind. I've decided to head a little bit further west as um, there appears to be a little bit more wind out here. I mean, it's still not a lot, but uh, it might be worth putting the sail up and uh, seeing what we've got. Neutral, let's get the sail up. Got the noisemaker turned off and we've got enough wind out here. We're actually making the same speed just over four knots. So right at this moment, my compass is telling me we're heading due south. And we're going along at about four knots. That obviously does not agree with um, my course made good. So obviously there is quite a tide pushing me to the east, which is what we want. So the plan is working at the moment. Getting some data from Raim Head again. So we can see the wind speed has increased a little bit. The max gust is now up to about 10 knots. Well, for some reason, Plymouth Lightboat has just slowed down. I thought it was uh, heading somewhere on a shout. We can see a yacht coming out of the Yelm and it's leaning over quite a bit for the amount of wind that I can see anyway. So there is definitely some wind out here somewhere. Just not feeling it on a run, I guess. This appears to be a better angle of attack as the bottom speed's just gone up by about half a knot. Uh, almost a knot, in fact. 4.95. Looking at the tidal stream atlas for the south coast, we are currently at uh, nearly 10 o'clock, so that's uh, high water at Devonport plus one, which is what we're looking at. And if we zoom in, we can see that the tidal stream is zooming past this headland which we're just going past. And it's currently giving me a bottom speed of about three and a half 
to four knots. There's not an awful lot of swell or chop. Mind you, everything's going with the tidal stream, so you wouldn't expect too much chop at the moment. There's not an awful lot of wind and we're barely making three and a half knots over the ground. Still pootling along on almost a dead run. At approximately four and a half knots. And Burr Island is dead ahead, but it does not stand out. That little dip over there, that's the River Erm. So it's just past 11 o'clock, which is about two and a quarter hours past high water at Devonport. And if we zoom in to Bigbury Bay, we can see that there is very slack tide in here at the moment. So it's all down to wind. And our bottom speed at the moment is 4.3. And if we have a look at the tidal stream chart for around about 12 o'clock, we can see that it's heading off to the west. So we will get to Burr Island. We'll probably go around to the eastern side of it. Hove to for a bit to have some lunch and then think about heading back. So I've almost made it to Burr Island. It's about 10 past 11. So we've got about another half an hour. No, it's gonna be less than that. 20 minutes maybe, before I get to the uh, western side of Burr Island. It would be nice to be able to sail around to the north of Burr Island, but even though I've got a very shallow draft, I'm not gonna risk it. Just seen a vehicle drive across the causeway between Burr Island and Bigbury on Sea. So there's not enough water for me to cross anyway. Stupid idea. Okay. Let's turn around. The echo sounder is saying that the depth is getting greater, but I'm not 100% convinced. Heading due south with Burr Island on my port side. 